another misty morning at Leck and Greg vegan camp the 26th of October 2018 look at all this moisture if you have a forest where you have trees and other plants covering all the land you can capture all this moisture the con condensed water during the low temperatures during the night it will be captured into the soil if you don't cover the ground with uh, trees and other plants then the Sun will eventually hit the the ground and that water that would be kept as nutrient for the plants would just evaporate into the atmosphere and that's not what we really want we want to the plants to grow as fast as possible with the the most nutrients as possible so water is an important nutrient for plants to grow here is a pumpkin growing together with the banana palms you can just see it in there we had an, a different one also hanging in the banana trees but now it fell down on the ground Spider season is coming. Sometimes it's good to support with bamboo, sometimes it's not so good. Last evening when I was showering, this banana palm broke. I will try to leave these bananas on the palm. Maybe cut off some of the leaves. Maybe not, because maybe the leaves are supporting everything. So let's see if they can ripen up anyway, or get as ripe as possible. And the new bathroom door. We have a lot of papayas. And also the pumpkin harvest is kicking in. Currently the amount of papaya and banana is, uh, there is a lot, so I, we, we are not able to eat it by ourselves, like the freezers are full, so it's, it's really nice, it's, it's been my goal to have a sustainable staple uh, here, like if there is a catastrophe or whatever in the world, I'll be able to live off this land. There are bananas, there are papaya, and the freezers are full of fruit. And we have cassava roots. Um, I hope, like we are plant I'm planting a lot of cassava, so I will have a lot of cassava root. So cassava root, or cassava root, and bananas, and papayas, and all the other fruits that we have during the year. We have had, like, the passion fruit now has been active for four months so we have like four months of uh, passion fruit um, two three months of three to four months of uh, mangoes if they are fruiting two months of longan so we have like all these seasons of different fruits together with the uh, staples that's pretty good I would be able to survive here if like if there was an emergency situation so now I can just rest but we're actually not resting we want more we want avocados pumpkin everywhere pumpkin is a really nice fruit though some people say you can eat it um, raw maybe if you like chop it up in small pieces I'm not sure how well we digest it um, but anyway, uh, if you steam it, it's just like a very, very nice uh, food to, to eat um, because pumpkin is a fruit and it has a lot of good nutrients in it and high in carbohydrates. That's what we want. The last couple of days we had more rain than we ever expected uh, at this time of year because it's like end of rainy season. So I actually hope we will get more rain because it keeps the air clear and we actually will get more pumpkin um, so I thought many of these pumpkin would die and never grow but actually they have they're, they're producing now so I'm like planted in 
when was it? Mm, April, March, April or whatever. And some of them are just starting to fruit now. So it's like has been a very hard season for the pumpkin. And the cassava, cassava is growing here. I really want them to have some roots. <laughs> so I want to grow them everywhere and also we can use these sticks as like a living fence and to support the, the fence because it's not cool to uh, replace all the time because the bamboo will not grow forever so I hope that we can use this as a living fence. We, we planted rows of pumpkin here but there's a, like not much. The same here. The bean plants here are just coming now, so I hope they will produce. I hope there will be enough water for them to produce because these beans are super tasty. At some points there are so many bananas that we are just like cannot like if we are like if I miss them for one or two days I don't go and look for them like birds will get to them it's like insanely fast how they when they start to going from from green to yellow it's just so fast you need to when they just start getting yellow that's the best time to get them if you want uh, to have a low low content of bugs and uh, not have birds eat them some people even like pick them when they're completely green for transport and stuff but i want to have a mix of a really good and ripe banana and also bananas with low content of bugs. That sometimes is hard to, to achieve. Even though the most of the pumpkin didn't grow well, there are some successful ones and they start to uh, produce and grow well, so that's nice to see. If you want to try to grow something, grow a lot, because probably a lot of them will maybe maybe not grow at all. Among the mango trees, we started to plant durian and avocado trees. I think we planted about 10 trees the other day. I think it's very important um, if you want to grow organically, or as, as, as organically as possible, that you have a diverse um, plants in, in your orchard or in your garden. Because if you don't, the mango trees will be prone to disease and prone to bugs and if they catch something nasty they will like all die so you need to have different kinds of plants to attract different kinds of bugs that will keep each other in uh, in company and will if there is something attacking the mango trees there will be other bugs attacking those attackers and then everything will be fine my growing salad compost project with banana leaves on top of weed the weeds are not growing but nothing else is growing because the chicken was just like destroy i had like a mulch on top to cover the the soil but chicken just <laughs> rage havoc this was a nice bed but now it's just like a yeah so domesticated animals are not always welcome in a garden Some of the mango trees started flowering in random. So here we have some nice little mangoes. I guess they will die because there will be no rain. But let's see. Red ripe tomato directly from the plant. Without any worms, without anything inside. Grown together with uh, red rose and some wasps. We did not bring the wa wasps in or wasps. They came just by themselves and this is a um, sour type of tomato but it's actually sweet when it gets ripe like this on the plant. So it's wow it's amazing when something like this happens. So our lovely neighbor just decided to um, put uh, domesticated animals, some cows here, so there's a lot of manure, but they use the manure to, they sell the 
cow manure in bags but there's like a lot of pee and it smells it's just in front of our kitchen so it's away from their house but in front of our kitchen area so we get the nice smell of cow manure so it's very very nice like the last six months or so